Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I think that some of you may know we'll be looking at referencing. In addition to, of course, the other team there, I'm sure we're going to look forward to their contribution in a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and, and as well. And I think the name of the game is... Secret Citation. Yeah, we don't want to make it too loud, otherwise it's secret. You see, so we keep it quiet. Secret Citation. David is going to explain a bit more about the game and how it's made up. The, the idea was it can be used either as a precursor into a session, um, then you can get people sort of looking at uh, the cards, looking into it. Then you can do a more in-depth session, and then they can play it again at the end. Or you can do a session and referencing it and give them the card at the end, so it can be used at any point within the session. And we basically, the prototype has got how to reference a book, a journal, and a website. And there's the different elements, such as the year of publication, title, um, and there's also included in there some red herrings, such as web designer, um, and... Yeah. Um, things like bindings. So, as well as having the true elements to a reference, there's also sort of red herrings. And the idea is it's based upon like a um, sort of card game, like Rummy, where every is initially dealt five cards because there's five elements on the cards to build up a reference. So all players, between about two to six players, will be dealt six cards, you know, what five cards, with one person who starts being dealt a sixth. So then they choose which card they want to keep, put it down, and the idea is to build up a hand which has all the elements to a reference. You then keep going around in turn, so you're picking up off the deck and putting one down until you complete your, your hand, and then when you think you've got a complete hand, you put it down in the order that you would put those elements down in a reference. So you put author, thing, and keep going. If you put it down wrong, the other people who are playing have the chance to challenge, and if you do get it wrong, you have to pick up your cards and it continues on. So you have to wait till the next round to try and put it down again in the right order. Um, that was the version one of the game. There's also a version which can be used where you can play it like Happy Families, where you can ask if somebody's got a card, and you can pick, or like Go Fish, where you randomly pick the card. So, it can be used in different elements. So if you've got different levels of groups where you think they're not going to get that, you can, there are different ways in which the same cards can be used in order to uh, sort of get the same outcome um, from the session. And that's the introductory version. We could do an advanced yeah. format with different uh, types of material as well. Okay, thank you. Any questions on that game? That's really good. I mean, one of the things I thought of is if you, know, you get to that challenge stage, if someone challenges, they could take one of the cards that they need mm -hmm. um, and idea. transfer mm -hmm. uh, one of theirs that they don't need. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> And the hope is that they'll want to win anyway, even mm -hmm. if they don't understand it immediately. And it doesn't necessarily stop with the first row, the run of citation, but you can carry on playing with the other players continue to try and get the next one. Because the, 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 when we created the cards, um, there were three common elements we found to the reference part, which is the author, the title, and the date, which can be run throughout the cards. So you can pick up any of those. And then there's the final two elements, which is like um, sort of book, the website, and the journal, which are unique to that type of uh, reference, so you're not just chasing five cards, you can use any combination of the cards to create a reference. Mm. That you do, they say there's two key ones, oh, yeah. you need to yeah. make it perfect. Mm. Mm. Well. Yeah, and they're also colour coded as well, aren't they? Yeah. So you can get a set of colours. <laughs> so all now we're looking for is a publisher now. <laughs> <laughs> any other questions or comments? Spaces available on the back. Yeah, <laughs> 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 the university might be interested. <laughs>